What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. In today's video, we're going to do a follow-up to the pin trick I did on my cam shaft adjuster on my E63 AMG. Then that's with the M156 engine. All right, so I have to replace the camshaft adjuster because the pin trick did not work. Um, the plate was worn out, so even switching the pin, flipping it would not make a difference because the pin wouldn't stay in the, the hole because of the worn out plate. So I have a brand new intake cam adjuster from Mercedes-Benz. And then there were people in the comments, thanks for your comments, were mentioning that I need a new washer and a new bolt for the camshaft. And I knew that going into it, but rushing, I forgot to do these two things. And maybe in my subconscious, I knew that I was gonna have to replace the camshaft adjuster so I didn't swap out the new bolt and the new washer. Cause they're one time use, not to say that the bolt wouldn't work if you use it a second time, but it suggested only use it one time and replace it. And same as the washer. They're not expensive, so they're definitely something that you should replace in the event that you're messing with your uh, camshaft adjuster. So for those that were concerned before, thank you and we have the new parts. All right, so since we have already done the install, removing of the camshaft adjuster, and that's in another video, if you haven't checked out the series yet, I'll post it up top and down below, and uh, you can get more step-by-step -step procedures on how to do that. So I'm just gonna do it and change it off camera. We're gonna come back and visit it after I have placed the new um, camshaft adjuster, bolt and washer, of course, and then we'll see what we get. All right, so since I didn't show this in the first, uh, video when I was just doing the pin flip. Here is your washer. It's not like a traditional washer. It kind of feels like sandpaper, but it is pretty thin. So that goes on the back here. Take this off. And in here, you see there's no washer. You place this one in there like so. And that's it. So I'm going to install this now. I just wanted to show um, the washer because I hadn't showed it before. So let's put this in there. All right, so we got the old one off. So I'm gonna show you why this one didn't work even after doing the pin trick flip. Huh? Even after doing the pin flip trick, it didn't work um, and I was still getting the noise. So let's dive into why this didn't work. All right, so now we have the cam adjuster off. We're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you the part that was worn out that I was talking about earlier. This is the tough part. All right, so as we know from watching the other videos, this part comes out. All right. So here is the back plate that I was referring to. If you can see right there, this part has worn out past the point of still being usable. So the pin rests in here and this part here is not supposed to be that worn out. It should look like this, but over time it has worn out. So that is why the pin flip trick did not work. So we had to replace this whole unit for that one little piece, as well as the pin too. If I can get it out here, let's see. So this pin wears out as well, but flipping it, like we said, usually fix it for staying inside of this part here. So the pin is supposed to stay in this hole right here. But over time, it wears that down and eventually fails. So we had to replace the whole unit, but there is somewhere where I saw online, they sell the plates by themselves. It's not an OEM, but it is a replacement plates for all four. And I think it's around 750, but I just decided to get the whole unit and um, install that. So that's that.
All right, guys, there you have it. E63 AMG is back in business. No more rattling sound or startup. I'll give you a follow-up. Probably won't put it on YouTube. Maybe I'll put it on my Instagram or Facebook. Another update. But it's a brand new part. Everything should be rocking and rolling. So if you found value in this video, please consider giving me a like as well as subscribing if you haven't done so already. And thanks for checking out my video as well as my channel. And until next time, I'm out.